We're converting polar equations to rectangular. Let's start with some simple examples. R equals 10. Now let's remember that we have these equations to work with. We have x squared plus y squared equals r squared, tangent theta equals y over x, x equals r cosine theta, and y equals r sine theta. So my first thought is square both sides, and I'll get r squared. So I get r squared equals 100, and I replace the r squared with x squared plus y squared. And then I can see that r equals 10 is a circle centered at the origin, radius 10. It's much simpler in polar coordinates than in rectangular, but there it is. That's the rectangular version of this equation. And then for b, theta equals minus pi over 4. Here, I remember that I have this equation tangent theta equals y over x. So let me take the tangent of both sides, and I get tangent theta equals tangent of negative pi over 4. And the tangent of negative pi over 4 is negative 1. And so remember that tangent theta is y over x. So y over x equals negative 1. And you multiply both sides by x, you get y equals negative x. So the equation theta equals negative pi over 4 is the same as the equation y equals negative x in rectangular. What about this one? r equals 5 secant theta. Well, I know that r cosine theta is x. And I can get co r cosine theta together if I multiply both sides by cosine. Remember that secant is 1 over cosine theta. So I multiply both sides by cosine, and I get r cosine theta equals 5. This is x. x equals 5. And so what I have here is a vertical line, x equals 5. That's what this equation represents.